thought we'd never make it. Hey, uh, why don't you wait out here? Let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right, pretty much like we left it. What? Not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your arm, you get my bike. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that Nero checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it. In the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer, all right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. Are you awake? Yeah, Deke. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. this. Oh, 
That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before. It's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up, and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, deacon out. Ah, oh, damn freakers. Oh, damn rain. If it's not the freaks, it's the goddamn rain. Why is it always raining? Finally, where the hell am I? I gotta be getting close. Bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! You gotta ask Copeland. I don't know nothing. Hey! My bike! I didn't do nothing! Oh god damn it, right now I'm gonna kill you. Boozer, you there? Yeah, do you get your bike? Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Beacon out. my bike! Hard they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once, Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop, farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? Okay. 
like this one, Manny. Oh, okay, okay. See, now, when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it, like, rattling around back there. Hey, let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Ripper's dead. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. Going up days without food. Well, you see how it is. Lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left to stock with the fish. Gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. Used to go hunting out here with the old man. We'd build deer blinds out here. Put down salt licks below us. Pick him off clean. Some winners had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law, the United States Constitution. He could only see us now. America, land of the free. We are that. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Doug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike. That your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cope, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some loans for me. Cope. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Sorry about your bike. I didn't know, I swear. You pissed at me. Yeah, but hold on. This isn't a goddamn bike. Uh. 
Booster, you there? Yeah, Deke. Uh, how you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay, uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out, make sure the mountain's clear. Those are, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. I guess, um, I guess, uh, you know, I could, I could use something for the pain. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. St. John, this is Cope. When you get to the tower, my radio uplink has been shut down. I'll pay you to restore it. So these men, you know them, because shutting down radio free Oregon seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, murdering. Well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. 